And now we're going to talk about some Swiss Army triplets. This is something I saw a guy named uh, Tim Watterson do. Um, Virgil Donati has kind of taken, you know, double bass with your feet and rudiments with your feet to a completely insane level. Thomas Lang, this is something he's done as well. And it just sounds phenomenal. It sounds really, really chunky. Um, people can't believe that you're actually doing it all with your bass drum. I haven't written any sheet music for you guys because it's something that I'm still kind of developing. But uh, nevertheless, I wanted to show you where it's at for me and my thoughts on it. And then, you know, you guys can take it to a whole new level like you always do. And you can send me crazy videos of yourself just slaying with this stuff. So let me just kind of break down what each foot is doing uh, to start out. Well, well, for those of you who don't know, actually, let me just start. What is a Swiss Army triplet? And it's basically... Um, I'll, I'll just play it for you. I think that's the easiest way to do it. Here we go. So let's break apart what each limb is doing. And I'm actually going to do this with my feet now. So the, the left foot is going to be going one end, two end, three end, four end, one end, two end, three end, four end like this. And then the right limb is going to be going da 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 kind of like a shuffle. So it sounds like this. So on one beat, they kind of land at the same point, and that's where the flam is, and that's right on the downbeat. Uh, so, that's kind of the sound it makes. Um, for me, it's just, I got to get the motions with the legs. So that's where I started. Didn't worry about the hands, didn't do any of that. And then, eventually, you can kind of put other stuff over top. So let me just play you exactly what the feet are doing put together. Okay, so like I said, it's, I'm still working on it. I don't claim to have it absolutely perfect. It's nowhere near where I want it to be. But that's kind of the, the, the base, and that's going to be my underlying ostinato for what I'm going to play next. And so over top of that, I just want to play a simple uh, quarter note groove on the hi-hat and snare on beats two and four so you guys can hear how it sounds in context. Alright, so that's kind of how it sounds up to speed, play as a simple groove. Um, but what I like to do with it is I like to play a shuffle over it, because if you play a shuffle, your right hand's going to actually line up with the right foot. So it sounds like this. Okay, and then it's just a matter of adding the left hand. So let me just jam out a little bit for you guys, and you know, hopefully you can process it enough and hear how it, how I'm learning it, and then you guys can kind of, like I said, take it to the next level or kind of adapt it to whatever style you want. Um, so here it goes.
So just completely goofing around there. So hopefully that kind of made sense. But that's what I do with a lot of these rudiments with the feet patterns is I'll just figure it out with the feet and then figure out how do I play stuff over top of that? What note values work good with that? It's like a, a guy who's writing a song and he likes a certain key. You know, what chords, what notes go really, really well with that key? What notes that aren't necessarily in the scale uh, fit with that key and will fit with that song? And it's kind of the same thing with drums, you know? If you have an ostinato or a theme that you like, you kind of just play the theme and then play other stuff over top and figure out what works. So. Um, Take it to your kit, take it to a whole new level, send me your guys' videos, I can't wait to see them. Talk to you later.